Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Harang Choi. I am a recent graduate of Ateneo School of Medicine and Public Health in the Philippines and I'm currently preparing for the USMLE Step 1 exam. On today's video, I will talk about the most recent update on the USMLE Step 1 content changes that the USMLE.org released recently. So let's begin. So starting October 20, 2020, there will be two major changes to the USMLE Step 1 exam. The first change is that Step 1 exam will include an increased number of questions that assess communication and interpersonal skills. If you look at the first table they provide on my right, uh, on the very bottom row, you see that it says Social Sciences, Communication, and Interpersonal Skills. The exam used to have only 3-5% to of questions on this topic, but beginning October 20th, there will be 6-9% to of questions on this topic. So that's the first major change on the Step 1 exam. Increase in number of questions concerning communication and interpersonal skills. So the second major change on the step one exam is on the patient care and management part. If you look at the second table they provide under the step one physician tasks, competency specification on the fifth row on this table, it says management patient care. And prior to October 20th, 2020, the exam used to have 7 to 12% 12, 7 to 12 on this topic, which is actually quite a lot if you think about it. Um, but they won't be giving any questions on this topic any longer starting October 20th, 2020. They also state here that test items related to management will be covered in Step 2 CK examinations. So I noticed that a lot of international medical graduates are questioning what this actually means. What do they mean by um, management and patient care? What kind of questions do they specifically mean? So to answer this question, uh, if you go to their website, they actually pr provide a PDF file that specifies the details of each of the topic. And they basically break down the management patient care into four different topics. So these four are one, health management and disease prevention, two, selecting and monitoring pharmacotherapy, three, clinical intervention and treatment, four, selecting clinical intervention mixed management. Um, if you want to know even further as to what these exactly mean, go check the PDF file, I pr PDF link I provide below. It's provided by the USMLA.org. And, and since a lot of people seem to be asking whether or not it's worth studying pharmacotherapy and management on step one, my personal take on it is to still study, study it because they made a note here on their website saying that percentages are subject to change at any time. And since these questions will come out in step two CK exams anyways, we won't be losing anything by studying these topics in advance. And it will be better for us to know these things than to forego these topics and end up missing answering any questions related to them. So that's all I have to share with you all today. Those are the changes and I know that um, preparing for the USMLE Step 1 exam can be grueling and this season um, is one of the most important times in our lives. And so if you are currently studying for the USMLE Step 1 exam like myself, I hope this video was helpful and I wish you all the best in your Step 1 preparation. If you like the content of my video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And thank you so much for watching. I will catch you all later. Bye!